blazing fire, not getting lighter. See the light getting brighter, my eyes can comprehend the future ahead.
Magandang hapon po sa bawat isa at welcome po sa ating 3pm daily devotion and prayer. Ako po si Pastor Israel at ako po ang inyong makakasama ngayong hapon na ito. So we are still learning about the book written by Pastor Cesar Castellanos. Ito po ang 52 Studies for Successful Cell Groups. Tayo po ngayon ay nasa Study 47 na. Ayan, so study 47 that is entitled Persevering Love. Amen? So again, Persevering Love. And ang topic po natin ngayon ay although he was holy, he was accursed. At yung although he was righteous, he became sin. So yan po ang ating topic ngayong hapon na ito. So bago po ang lahat ay gawin po muna natin ang ating 5 acts of faith. Unang-una na po dyan ang pag-share ng ating video. Sabay-sabay po tayo mag-share in 3, 2, 1, go! Sige po, i-share nyo po ang ating uh, video. Pangalawa naman po ay push the like button. Uh, kung ikaw ay nasa YouTube, <laughs> kung ikaw ay nag-stream sa YouTube, push the like button. Uh, comment mo kung saan ka nanonood. Yan, yung location. Kung ikaw naman nag-stream sa Facebook, ay um, push the heart button naman. And comment mo kung saan ka nanonood. nanonood. Comment where you are watching from. Amen. Amen. So, number three is to tag your friends. Itag mo na sila sa ating comment section. At ito na yung time para uh, tayo magsama-sama online. Manood online uh, ng ating daily devotion. At para ma-bless din sila, itag mo sila sa ating comment section. Amen. Number four is subscribe to our YouTube channel, CIF TV. And of course, like and follow din natin ang ating uh, Facebook page, CIF Facebook page. Marami po tayong Facebook pages, so follow na po natin lahat. <laughs> Amen. Number five is sending your faith stars kung ikaw ay nasa Facebook. Kung ikaw naman ay nasa YouTube, wala po tayo noon sa YouTube, but you can always uh, send your giving to our bank accounts. Ipapakita po natin yan maya-maya. Amen and amen. So maraming salamat in uh, participating Again, tayo po ay nasa Study 47. Ito po ay entitled Persevering Love. And our topic this uh, afternoon is Although He was holy, He was accursed. Although he's, He was righteous, He became sin. So, tingnan po natin ang ating key verse in Hebrews 10 verses 5 to 7. Again, Hebrews 10 verses 5 to 7. Sinabi po dyan, Therefore, when Christ came into the world, He said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. With burnt offerings and sin offerings, you were not pleased. Then I said, Here I am. It is written about me in the scroll, I have come to do your will, my God. Again, yan po ay sa Hebrews 10 verses 5 to 7. So, alam po ng ating Panginoong Jesus that Um, he was coming to earth to complete a very delicate mission. Amen? Uh, ito po ay the redemption of mankind. Ito po ang mission ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Kaya nagpunta po siya dito sa lupa. And he was aware that if, uh, if he did not succeed, there would not be a second chance for his people. So, uh, the weekly sacrifices offered by Israel, offered by the Israelites, were not enough to take away the guilt from their souls. So, the Father, God, gave Jesus permission to come to the earth and became the atoning lamb of God. Amen? Siya po ang naging aton atoning lamb of God. And the cross of Calvary was the only sacrifice that could acquit us of the sin in our heart and set us free. So, ang magpapalaya lang sa iyo ay yung ginawa ng ating Panginoong Jesus sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Ito lang ang makakapagpalaya sa atin. Makakapag uh, acquit of the sin in our heart. So, it was the Father's will that Jesus redeem mankind. Amen? It is the Father's will ang Ang kagustuhan po ng ating amang nasa langit is to redeem mankind, the redemption 
of mankind. So he prepared a body for his son in which to be incarnated. Amen? So then Jesus could present himself as the atoning sacrifice, pleasing and acceptable to God. At gusto pong sabihin sa bawat isa that Jesus is very determined to redeem us. He is determined to redeem us. Uh, alam niyo po, dito po sa mundo ay marami pong tao na ang gusto po ay sumikat. Yan, ang gusto po ay maging popular, ang gusto ay maging famous. Di ba? So there are many men in the world who have arisen to fame. At minsan po, to the degree that their followers have made them into gods and even uh, offer their lives to defend their ideals. So, kung meron mang isang tao na famous, kung meron mang pong isang tao na popular, ay minsan yung mga followers po nila ay ginagawa na silang parang Diyos. Yung mga ideals po nila ay talagang ipaglalaban po nila. Naging panatiko ang mga taong ito. Pero, ang buhay po ng ating Panginoong Jesus ay iba. Amen? The life of Jesus Christ differs from other famous men in that eto na uh, bakit na iba ang buhay ng ating Panginoong Jesus sa mga ibang taong naging famous alam nyo ba si Jesus is also very famous amen nakita ko nga po ang isang meme kasi um, meron tayong mga pinapanood na movies merong tinatawag na Avengers di ba? parang sa movie na yon sila ang nagliligtas ng mundo Tapos, uh, yung mga Avengers, naka-assemble sila, tapos nasa gitna si Jesus. Sabi ni Jesus ay, this is how I saved the world. O, di ba? <laughs> Pero alam niyo po ba that Jesus, the name Jesus, Jesus Christ is known in the whole uh, earth. Maaring uh, may mga ibang tao pa na hindi nakakakilala. Pero ang very point ko po dito is that He is famous. Pero titignan po natin. Um... Bakit na iba ang buhay ni Jesus sa ibang tao na famous? So, Jesus, although He was holy, He was accursed. Again, although He was holy, He was accursed. Ang ating pong Panginoong Jesus ay wala pong kasalanan. Amen? He was sinless. He was holy. But He was accursed. Tingnan po natin in Galatians 3 verse 13. Ang sinabi po doon, Christ redeemed us from the cause of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree. So, uh, yung umpisa po, sabi kanina, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. So, ang ating Panginoong Jesus, He was not just accursed. He became a curse para po sa atin, para sa iyo. Na kung meron mang uh, sumpa sa buhay mo, kung meron mang uh, curse proclaimed by other people, maraming uh, klase kasi ng curse eh. Marami ding ways para um, ikaw ay ma-curse. Alright? So, uh, Jesus became a curse for us. Again, curse is everyone who is hung on a tree. So, He became a curse para ikaw mismo ay mapalaya sa kahit na anumang sumpa sa buhay mo. May mga sumpa po na uh, yung family mo ay mabilis magkasakit o ikaw mismo mabilis magkasakit. May mga sumpa naman na uh, mabilis kang madisgrasya. Parang lapitin ka sa disgrasya. Parang gano'n. May mga sumpa pong ganun, may mga curse na ganun. But again, Jesus became a curse for us so that you can live a life of freedom from curse. Amen? So, isa po yan sa mga pagkakaiba ni Jesus to other people who became famous. So, ang buhay po ng ating Panginoon, again, although He was holy, He was a cursed. And ang kasunod po, although He was righteous, He became sin. Again, although He was righteous, He became sin. Tingnan po natin in Romans 5 verse 8. Ang sabi po doon, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. 
Yan. God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Again, nasa Romans 5 verse 8 po iyan. So, pag ginami po natin sin, uh, nakakagawa po tayo ng mga uh, anything, any trespasses against the Lord. Ang, ang, ang sinner, ang isang taong sinner, ay kalaban ng Diyos. Dahil gumagawa ka ng mga bagay na labag sa loob ng ating Panginoon. Or anything, kasalanan sa Kanya, any trespasses against the Lord. So, any sinner is an enemy of God. Pero, in Romans 5.8, sinabi doon, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. So, ikaw man ay nagkakasala sa Panginoon, ikaw man ay kalaban niya at that time, eh, pinakita niya na yung pagmamahal sa iyo. At yung pagmamahal na yon is yung pagkamatay ng ating Panginoong Jesus sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Kaya tayo mga kapatid ay dapat lagi nating sariwain kung ano yung mga bagay na ginawa ng ating Panginoon sa atin. Uh, if tayo po ay lagi nating naaalala yung mga blessings ng Panginoon, kung ano na yung mga sakripisyo na, na binigay niya, sa atin, magiging grateful po tayo. Amen? Magiging thankful po tayo na ang ating Panginoong Jesus na isang banal na tao, He was still accursed. Alright? Ang ating Panginoong Jesus, He was righteous but He became sin. Para yan sa'yo. So that you could totally live in freedom. That is His persevering love. Yung pagmamahal na hinahabol-habol ka. Amen? So, dapat po tayong uh, magkling pa sa ating Panginoong Jesus. So, tayo po ay mananalangin. Kung kayo po ay may mga panalangin ay, or prayer request, ilagay niyo po ito sa ating comment section at sabay-sabay po tayong manalangin ang mga leaders, mga pastors ay nakikita po iyan. Kaya, i-comment niyo lang po ito sa ating comment section. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much sa uh, iyong salita. Salamat, Panginoon, for uh, always reminding us and for telling us, Lord God, of the sacrifices Jesus made on the cross. He was holy, Lord, but He was accursed. He was um, righteous, Lord God, but He became a sin para po sa amin. At Lord, nagpapasalamat po kami dahil uh, alam ko, Panginoon, ang lahat ng kasama namin dito, kung meron man pong mga bago, they have been, they have received your word and they are receiving Jesus in their heart. At alam ko, Panginoon, sa lahat ng mga nanonood, we were reminded, Lord, of how you love us. Minahal mo na kami, Panginoon, kahit kami pa lang ay, kami ay nagkakasala. Panginoon, uh, at nakakagawa ng mga kasalanan uh, against you, Lord. Lord, maraming salamat dahil hindi mo kami pinabayaan. Your desire is always a uh, the redemption of mankind. At araw-araw, Panginoon, nagpapasalamat kami sa iyo. We praise you for that. We worship you uh, sa lahat ng mga ginawa mo na sa amin at mga gagawin mo pa sa lahat, Lord God, ng mga blessings na binigay mo at mga ibibigay mo pa. And Lord, I pray uh, for our IPHC, PPHC bishops and missionaries, sa mga pastors, leaders, Lord, sa mga churches, I declare unity, direction, protection, provision, fruitfulness, and intimacy, Lord God, with the Holy Spirit. And also, Lord, I pray for our G12 international leaders, national leaders, Lord, pastors, and disciples, that there would be continued fire and fruit of the Holy Spirit, Lord, sa kanilang buhay. I, I declare protection as well, abundant provision, con, uh, that they will continue in the vision for nation transformation. Patuloy na binabago mo, Lord God, ang bansang uh, Pilipinas at ginagamit mo, Panginoon, ang iyong mga anak. Lord, I declare blessings to uh, all the CIF pastors, starting, Lord, with our senior pastor and his wife, Bishop Isagani and Pastor Tess. 
uh, King King, may you continue to provide comfort, provision, strength, and direction sa kanila po, uh, sa kanilang buhay. I, I declare blessing, Lord, to uh, Pastor Chris, Pastor uh, Byrne, Pastor Jeannie, and Pastor uh, Pastor Hias Nadal, to Pastor uh, Esther Patlon, to Pastor uh, June Ortiz, to Pastor Mark and Angel Giang, to Pastor Joseph and Jackie Dilag, to Pastor Feli, to Pastor Ed and I de Galande, to Pastor Shirley, to Pas uh, Pastor uh, Jeffrey and Pastor Alma, at sa amin din pong uh, pamilya, uh, to my wife as well, Lord. Uh, Lord, the CIF pastors will uh, have the fruit and fire, Lord, of the Holy Spirit. Patuloy, Lord God, you are stirring the uh, passion and winning and discipleship at ang mga pastors na ito, Panginoon, will continue to raise up uh, our 12. will continue, Lord God, to uh, raise a strong 12. Thank you, Lord, for the protection uh, from evil. May you continue to give our pastors wisdom and discernment, prosperity as well in all areas of their lives. And Lord, kung meron mang pong mga sakit, bigyan mo ng kagalingan. Alam ko, Lord, binabama mo ng kagalingan sa uh, aming mga pastors. And Lord, uh, may you continue to stir the uh, shepherd's heart uh, sa mga pastor, Lord God. We are after the heart of the Father. Lord, I declare also provision to our CIF churches. Uh, pagpalain mo ang CIF Cavite City na mag-open po ngayong June 12. At uh, we are still declaring, Lord, uh, provisions for our church lot and building and CIF Bicol that there is uh, also new place in CIF Makati, Panginoon. Salamat sa uh, provision mo for the donation drive and you are giving us Lord God uh, faithful titers, faithful givers, generous offerings as well sa aming church dahil alam namin Panginoon na uh, we will continue to uh, use it, use lahat ng ito for the expansion of your kingdom. And Lord, marami pang mga cells, mga cell groups, cell leaders uh, ang marirace, mga cell groups na mabubuo Panginoon at kanon Lord God. Uh, we are continually praying that we will continue to plant churches. Salamat, Lord, for uh, the Philippines. Alam ko, Panginoon, na ikaw ang patuloy na uh, nagbibless sa bansang Pilipinas. I also pray, Lord God, sa bawat pamilya ng CIF that there will be unity. There is love in each and every uh, family. Sa bawat cell group, Lord, sa bawat tribe, sa bawat uh, cell group sa campuses, Panginoon. I know, Lord God, na patuloy kang kumikilos at meron ka pong ginagawa sa buhay ng bawat isa. Binabalik ko sa iyo ang lahat ng papuri at uh, pagdakila in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Maraming salamat po sa pagsama po sa akin ngayong uh, hapon na ito sa ating 3 p.m. daily devotion and prayer. Magkita-kita po ulit tayo sa susunod. God bless po sa bawat isa.